Hey, what's up, guys? We are back again with a new meta mega bait deck to bait and trick your opponents every time. When they see Cannon Cart, Rascals, Miner, and Mortar, they're gonna be like, oh, this is just the standard bait deck. They're gonna start spamming you as soon as your Mortar is out of cycle to go and pull the Rail Hogs or Hog Rider. And when they do, the Mega Knight is gonna jump down and rain in the pain. They'll be furious and it'll be so funny. Let's go jump straight some games and assert dominance with the new best Mega Knight bait deck that will surprise everyone. Thanks for using Creator Code Sir Tag. All the money goes directly back into the channel, making the daily videos possible. Hey, we got a game against Nolan. So first things first, guys. You already know that I don't want to make the first play. We're waiting for him. Come on, dude. Come on, spam into my Mega Knight. Give me the value. He's not going to do it. He's just not going to be... Cajoled by my plays. Wait, what was... <laughs> what? What a great way of starting the day. He wasn't ready. His disappointment is immeasurable. And we've definitely won this because he dropped an Inferno Tower behind his tower by accident. That's what we like to see, baby. A few moments later. All right, so jumping into this one, I'm gonna go for a giant snowball. Ooh, are we able to bounce it back and hit the King Tower? Nah, because the Rascals were there. I was like, oh, I spent way too much Elixir on defense. He's gonna have arrows. So when I see arrows and goblin barrel, I'm not used to seeing a deck like that. Usually log bait decks will end up having a log, you know? That's the most common spell that we're used to seeing. So he's got an unorthodox deck, and I'm excited to see how this pans out. Maybe I can miner in the back with the dark goblin still alive. We can get some value up in here. I believe. Oh, watch this. He's going to all in it, and he's going to go right into a mega knight. Don't touch my sister. I can feel it. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Gonna wait a little bit longer. Then we're in a Mega Knight. Last possible second. It's gonna jump for joy on top of the prince, right? No, nah, it's not going to. We need a bats to kill the Dark Goblin. That Dark Goblin is being malicious, putting in so much work on me. Wait. I don't think the bats are gonna tank for the Mega Knight in time. There's no way. There's no way the Mega Knight jumps. We had hopes and dreams, but they were turned into ashes in a matter of seconds. Maybe we can go for a cannon card here. Like the princess. So he can't go in for a goblin barrel on top of whatever we do. Princess is definitely dead. That's just a huge overcommitment. You dropped three elixir that was going to die anyway, right? <laughs> the good thing is, the cannon cart dying on our side of the map isn't the worst thing in the world anymore because we've got mortar. That's how this deck works. You play aggressive with the mortar cannon cart. And now we see rocket with log bait and arrows. Okay. So there's a high probability if I miner here, it's just going to get caught by some type of distraction, whether it's going to be like a Valkyrie or a Prince or something along those lines. Still going to do it. I want to get some cheeky chip. We'll see what we can do. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, I'm going to Rascals here. You're going to go in for a Goblin Barrel, so I'm going to Bats when you do it. If you don't Goblin Barrel, what are you doing? You didn't Goblin Barrel when you had a Prince coming at us? You crazy person. You absurd sir. I'm able to Snowball, take no damage again, and immediately follow up with a Mortar. We're going to drop our Mortar like Hot Potato, drop it as fast as we can. It needs to lock onto the tower. If it baits out a Goblin Gang because you don't have Prince, it's going to be awesome. You might Princess off to the side. I don't know what you're going to do. Are you going to let that lock onto the tower? If it kills the Dark Goblin, no way. This is absurdly lucky. No arrows in cycle means I can go for bats. We outpaced them. Maybe we're able to get a lock here. If I snowball on top of the Rascal Girls, can we break through and kill them? Oh, really good Prince on our opponent's end. Totally was not expecting that one. Well, hello, Prince Charming. He's playing super aggressive. I want a Dark Goblin as well. He's going to arrow. He doesn't hit the Dark Goblin, though. Beautiful. Amazing start for us to get that amount of value. And then have the Dark Goblin counter pushing, dropping my mortar a little bit further back. And we're able to kill that. Yes, sir. I wonder if I want a miner there or if I want a cannon card. I think cannon card is probably the play. Mortar is going to get a lock and load. Let's go. And then I can cannon card here. It kills the princess. He'll 100% have to rocket this. If he doesn't rocket this, we're going to rocket away with the win, man. We're going to make him blast off like Team Rocket. Yes, sir. He's going to go Goblin Gang. Let's make the prediction. Where's the Goblin Gang at? What did Goblin Gang do? You're not even a Goblin Gang. You're just going to forfeit your tower. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, my gosh. The Dark Goblin's going to lock on my tower, though. Wait. Wait. Wait, this is a little bit more scary than I wanted to be. How did he get that much damage? Are you kidding me? Because he has rocket. He can walk away with a win if that mortar doesn't lock on a tower. But now he has no way of stopping it because he just dropped all of his elixir. If you drop your prince and your goblin gang, you do not have enough elixir to afford rascals. That is already eight of your elixir. You're not going to end up having 13 in one second. So getting into this one, I'm going to split rascals in the back because I now know, hey, you're going to have to respond to that even if you don't. Then the Rascal Girl on the right-hand side is going to do a lot of damage. Baby Dragon is going to be a negative one trade overall for us, but he has to respond to the Girl Rascal. And if he doesn't, we can maybe Miner going for some shenanigans with the Bats on either side. Yo, I'm definitely going to hit you up with the Bats in the right-hand lane if you're going to ignore 
Yo, this is beautiful. He has to fireball on bats because of that. You guys saw that? Is that a figment of your imagination, or are you guys vibing in the same world that I'm living in? Oh, no. If the Dark Goblin was able to finish off the Dark Prince, we would be in a, such a spectacular situation. It's still decent, right? Like, it's pretty clean. To be in a situation where you've got a cannon card counter pushing, you're up damage. He did activate King Kyower, but he has no damage, reliable answer to finish off the cannon card, right? Like, he was down so much elixir there, so very good spot to be in. We'll take it. Uh, maybe we minor now. If we Miner in the safe spot, I wonder if he has an answer to this, right? Because the Dark Prince is out of cycle. Miner's going to lock on a tower. The King Tower is not able to hit it. If you guys drop it in that spot, it uh, locks on a tower. And then the King Tower is like, hey, I can't touch this. So the Miner is going to give us a bit more life for the Rascal Boy and Girl. If I Snowball here, oh, that would have been smart. I'm still going to do it. Yes, slow down the tower. Give me extra hits. Come on, more Bubblegum hits. Sticky, sticky Bubblegum. Yes, because of that Snowball, we were able to finish off the tower. So now, because of that start, we just win the game, right? Like, even if we're playing against a graveyard deck, we've got Bats and we've got Dark Goblin. If you're running Pekka Bridge Bam, it's going to be impossible for you to break through the Mega Knight. And Mortar is a really good defensive card, too. So it's able to pull Balloons or any win condition. So that's why I love this deck so much. Great offensive potential, and when you take a tower, you secure the game. Oh, this guy was pretty nice. He gave us a well played at the end. GG and well played, man. I hope you have the best luck in the rest of your ladder session. And we started off the game strong with Rascal split in the back, and this guy went in for a firecracker. So I'm going to try to assassinate it with the miner. Maybe we can make it happen. Oh, please. Don't be good at the game. No! It retargeted. So in this specific scenario, I think it's better for me to go for a mortar on defense. I might be able to snipe that. If he wants a hog rider, it's fine, because I'll get counter pushed with the bats and a cannon card on the other side. So, oh, wait, wait, wait. This is great. This is great. This is great. He's going to lose that and then not have enough elixir for the Valkyrie. Oh, no, please. Cannon cart lock on. Yes, sir. I knew he wasn't going to have elixir for the Valkyrie, and we got so much damage. So that's why you got to play aggressive with the cannon cart when your opponent's not ready because they get furious. This man is such an upset panda, as you can see with all the emojis. Usually, when you play against someone that has an earthquake, you're like, oh, dude, my building is so bad into this. But... You gotta understand my mortar pops off. It's the same as Tesla. You're able to get absurd value against people that earthquake if you drop it high up enough. So we're gonna be doing that every chance we get. I might want to go in for a miner and then a snowball if he goes in for a skeletons here. Ooh, that's a Valkyrie. Smart play. Good player, you know? I was hoping he'd be a little bit worse at the game, but he's good. He's smart. He's a sophisticated sir. Very intelligent individual. Okay? Can we Mega Knight here on top of your firecracker? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he's not ready. Okay, that was probably bad bats. I should have mortared immediately because I would have been up enough elixir to justifiably do so. But you know what? We can still do it. <laughs> we, can, we can say we've been planning it all along. Yo, is the Tesla going to get distracted by the mortar? And then uh, I think... Wait, oh, how, no. how, how did the Mega Knight just go seven different ways? What, what is going on? I'm, I think I'm more confused than the Mega Knight right now. I'm super confused. <laughs> My Mega Knight's confused. I'm confused. Everyone's confused. Maybe my homie here uh, that we're playing against isn't that confused. So I'm going to cannon card. I'm going to activate King Tower. I think that was worthwhile. Um, the log comes through. So maybe we can go for an offensive Dark Goblin here. Because if we kill the Skeletons and then the Valkyrie gets pulled back, he has the Electric Spirit or Tesla. Yeah, that's so bad for him. Because he didn't have a good card in Cycle, I knew that I could go for an offensive Dark Goblin. Usually you never want to do that. But my opponent cycled Log and he didn't have Valkyrie. He didn't have Electric Spirit. And he cycled a Tesla in offense. So uh, pretty good moment for us to do so. Uh, Earthquake comes down. Not going to be beneficial for my opponent at all. I think we can go and snipe that. Ooh, do we just want a miner and get Cheeky Chip? Is that the strategy? Or I can go in for a cannon card here and wait for him to build up a huge push. Because that's that's kind of what I feel like he's going to do. I feel like he's going to go in for a Hog Rider soon. It's just kind of inevitable at this point. I'm going to Snowball. We're able to finish that off. Ooh, Dark Goblin goes in the left. No way. That's crazy. I wasn't ready. My body wasn't prepared. If the cannon cart locks on, we win the game. If the electric spirit's missed, yo, cannon cart, just lock on tower. Bro, 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 you have one job. You have one job. You got this, fam. All right, we're going to Mega Knight in the back and build up a huge push. If that kills, he's going to have to log, and then he can't go for a Hog Rider into the Mega Knight. There's no crazy person in this world that thinks Hog Rider into a Mega Knight still at, like, full HP would be a good decision. So I'm going to go for this. 
want to can card the other side so we uh, get him to Valkyrie on that and then doesn't have enough elixir. Oh, he didn't Valkyrie on the Rascals. What is he doing? He had to Valkyrie on the Rascals, but he couldn't. He logged instead. Dark Goblin, I choose you. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> the best win condition of 2020. The best win condition in the world. The Dark Goblin. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Seriously, Dark Goblin is a win condition. If you don't know, now you know. You just wait for your opponent to not have the right cards and cycle. If they cycle their log on the Rascals and they don't have their Valkyrie and they've only got Skeletons, your Dark Goblin is going to go ham. That was such a fun game. Hey, we got a game against Dell. What's going on, my dude? There's a lot of hearts in his name. He's got two hearts in his name, one heart in his clan. Dude, we got to give you three hearts. We got to escalate up the love, bro. Also, it's kind of annoying that they, like, made emotes go slower, because I can't give love that fast to him. You really do love me. Yo, if you've got double spawners, I want to retract every single kiss that I gave you. Fortunately, I don't think that's going to be the case, because we see a baby dragon. Usually, they're going to have, like... <laughs> Usually, they're going to have Mother Witch, not Baby Dragon, but this guy's got Baby Dragon double spawners. <laughs> Sir, I don't want to give you any more kisses. Actually, you don't deserve a single one, even though it's, like, the brand new year spirit, bro. I don't want to give it to you. You don't deserve my love. I hate you so much. <gasps> I'm going to snowball so we don't take the damage from the fire spirit and this. Uh, I don't know if the skeleton king is going to come down for our opponent. We've got skeleton dragons. I feel like if he had skeleton king with this, it could be very obnoxious. Spawners with skeleton king. Oh, man. Fortunately for us, that's not going to happen. Um, doesn't look like he's even got an archer queen or level 14 champion. So that's really good. Uh, still in a tragic scenario where we're down a lot of damage. If I rely on the cannon cart to finish off the spear goblins and the fire spirits, it can put in work. It doesn't fire fast enough to kill the spear goblins, but it can kill the fire spirits. I like that a lot. I'm going to go and split rascals again. Usually want to keep up this aggression if possible. If we can kill the baby dragon, that would be optimal. I'm just a baby! And I think one of them goes in the right-hand side, so I need to go in for a miner here to keep up the aggression. If we have that one little rascal girl locking onto the tower and pulling back the Dark Prince, that's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I need to win this game. If I didn't get that, I think I lost immediately. But we can beat double spawners. I believe we can. Oh, Mortar, you targeted the wrong thing, you idiot. Hey, I have feelings too, you know. You big baka bear. Why would you do that to me? You literally should have just hit the spear goblins and we would have been fine. We would have been vibing on a different level. It is what it is, but I still think that this game is a really close one now just because of that small interaction for our opponent. I'm going to split Rascals. If I can kill the Fire Spirit, that would be amazing, please. Awesome. After the Fire Spirit nerf, it just is a shadow of its former self. It just can't compare with the damage. With this tower taken, I think I walk with a W. Maybe we can go for... Oh my gosh, you've got a Letter Giant! I should introduce myself. Hi, I'm Dora! No, 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 don't lightning me right now, bro. Bro, we can talk about this. We can talk about this filthy deck. Yes, sir! 29 seconds remaining. His Electric Giant is out of cycle. We walk away with a win. I did not expect to beat the Double Spawner player, especially after my Mortar missed. But we bounced back. Honestly, there's few things more satisfying in Clash Royale than destroying double spawners. We're going to go for Rascals on the back because it's tried, it's true, it's trusty. It's the best play that we do every day. Maybe we can go in for a Mortar on offense. I think he's going to have a Hog Rider cycle deck. Maybe 2.6 Hog Rider when we see Musketeer. Oh, I'm going to go for Cannon. I really want him to go in. I want him to go for a Hog Rider with that Musketeer so bad. No, you savage. Why you got to be that way? The Ice Spirit's going to jump onto the Mega Knight. I still think he only gets one hit instead of two. He was looking for that second hit from the Hog Rider. Did not happen. He is able to kill that, but maybe we're able to snipe the Skeletons and the Cannon really quickly with the, the Dark Goblin. Beautiful. Yo, that Dark Goblin popped off, literally, because he didn't have Log, because he cycled it on the wrong thing. I think the Dark Goblin might win us the game again. Oh my gosh, look at the Dark Goblin damage. Tell me that's fair and balanced, guys. Someone in the chat, someone in the comment section. Let me know if you think that that's fair and you would be lying to yourself. Seriously, I think that like this deck actually is the best way to use your Dark Goblin. I haven't seen any other deck being able to bait out my opponent's logs, whether it's going to be the Cannon Cart, the Rascals, maybe even finishing off the Mortar before it gets that last hit. It's hilarious how this works. I'm able to either go in for the Mortar or the, the Mega Knight, and I'm always able to bait out Elixir for my opponent, so it feels pretty good. Okay, he's going to make me Mega Knight. That's fine. It is what it is. We are able to shut that down. He's a little bit annoyed, as you can see. 
this is one of those decks that makes everyone rage. Really upset whenever they're playing against it. Because I can't cart right now. And we're just building up the same push that we did last time. If we get the cannon out of cycle, then the Dark Goblin starts to become a win condition if he doesn't have log and he doesn't have lock again. So <laughs> I'm here for it, man. I'm vibing with it. The cannon cart. Oh my gosh, it locked onto the tower. Beautiful. Insane. Glorious. I'm going to go for a miner. He's going to fireball on this and that Dark Goblin after and the Thick Boy is still tanking afterward. He's going to fireball on that, right? He has to. No, he's not fireballing it. Are you kidding no. me? Oh, he cycled back to log. That makes a little bit more sense. If I snowball, I'm not going to get a hit, but it at least makes him a little bit more frustrated because we get more chip damage then. Also, I can mortar up high and he's not even able to fireball that, so that's beautiful. I'm going to cannon cart here and mortar, as I said before. It's really solid. Oh, wait, we're going to pull the hog rider even if he does fireball. He would go straight into the cannon cart. I'm going to miner here. I, I've never had this much fun playing a motorcycle deck. This is so much more toxic, though. Like, I can slow roll Mega Knights and build up big pushes. I can go for bats, and I can go for a snowball. The Ice Spirit does not hit every single one of the bats. So even if you get the Ice Spirit down, you have to fireball on the bats to get more damage than that, bro. That's ridiculous. Oh, I can go for a mortar on, uh, like, defense and have it snipe cannons. Wow, that's kind of cool. If you don't know, now you know. And I didn't know, but this is something that I want to do. If the Mega Knight's crossing the river, even if it doesn't get damage, it's going to be able to tank for my Miner, right? So that's that's always going to be a beneficial play. That's super solid on defense. Even if he goes in for a Hog Rider. No matter what, it's, it's got me on deck, man. I can Mega Knight, and I can bounce it back again with the Snowball so he gets no damage. He's going to log on top of the Candy Card so it dies. But now, remember, he has no log in cycle. So I'm going to go for the Dark Goblin in the middle. We can kill the cannon this time. I think he's going to go for the cannon or he's going to Musketeer. I should have went in for the bats to predict the Musketeer. It didn't happen, though. Oh, he's going to Fireball on the bats. Oh, he missed the bat. No, it didn't matter. <laughs> We're just going to take the right hand side. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is fun, but not for our opponent. As you can see, he was very angry at the end with all the emotes. Only 28 trophies from there, but the win was priceless. Like, subscribe, and have an awesome rest of your day.